Chief Lloyd Phillips recently made presentations in Parliament to the Standing Committee on the controversial federal legislation S-2 and S-16. We get Chief Phillips' reaction now on how the hearings went. Well, well the, the first uh, Standing Committee was a, uh, on the Bill uh, S-2, which is the uh, Matrimonial Real Interest uh, Law. Uh, we had an opportunity to present the Gunawaga's point of view on, on the law, so we felt that it was uh, important for us to, to show up there and uh, at the very least make sure that our position is clear to government. Uh, we're not going in there, we didn't go in there uh, expecting government to actually change their legislation or to propose legislation because uh, their track record speaks for itself. They've been passing laws, uh, you know, First Nations related laws, you know, uh, very quickly and, and laws in general that affect the, the Canadians as well. Uh, so we went in there to make sure it's clear that we have an opportunity to, to voice the, the, our concerns that, that ba basically evolve around the jurisdiction. You know, they're further infringing on the jurisdiction of our community, uh, trying to impose laws, and, and impose restrictions, impose uh, provincial systems on our territory, which is totally unacceptable. And we have to be there to ensure that our, our voice is heard. Yeah, well, S S16, uh, as, we, as people, many people in the community have already heard, they made a, a big announcement that they, what they want to do is amend the criminal code to make uh, the possession and sale of, of uh, what they call contraband tobacco um, uh, a criminal offense, whereby after repeat offenses, you you're have mandatory jail sentences. Uh, so we also had an opportunity to speak onto that issue. Uh, kept it at a very high level. Once, uh, once uh, again, we talk about jurisdiction and this is, shouldn't be dealt with as, as, a, as a tobacco issue or shouldn't be dealt as a tax issue. This is a jurisdictional issue that they have to recognize our inherent right, our jurisdictions as, as, as Mohawk people and recognizing historic relationships in order to have arrangements made with government so that there, there, there's room for the Mohawk communities and, and Native communities to prosper from the industry and, and also allowing you know, their uh, imperial tobaccos and such to, to have their systems. So there is room there if they're willing. You know, we base our whole discussions on the two or one pound concepts where peaceful coexistence, we always have shown the, the willingness to work with government, but you know, it takes two people to, to properly coexist and, and the onus is on them to find ways within their laws, within, the, within their regulations, within their system to, 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 to uh, accommodate what was required by our community. The message was delivered loud and clear, and, uh, and, and, uh, but whether they'll listen or not is another story. But uh, regardless of whether they listen or not, we're on record uh, officially with, with, with the federal government on, on where we stand with this law. Uh, we have our own systems in, in place in, in the community. We're going to continue to develop our own uh, matrimonial real interest type law for our community that recognizes uh, our, our, our membership and our lands and, and the way we do business in the, in the community. And that will be passed according to our people, not going to have federal federal system uh, dictate to us.